Welcome back. <sighs> so, this is the heat wave. Monday, Tuesday, this week, we're having a heat wave. Other places are having a heat wave, but no, because it's in, in uh, the UK, we've got to like freak out. So I'm trying to be all zen. Trying to be all zen. And I've been up like reasonably early and I wanted to already be at the post office. And I'm not, I'm just sat here with a pile of posts and I've just been pissing around trying to get this fucker working. And it ain't gonna fucking work on my setup at all. Because despite the fact that I've gone and I've researched these honest reviews, they're really dishonest reviews because when they say that this works with um, somebody who's recording on a fucking mobile phone, they are lying cunts. So they're all just corporate shills, all just sponsored. All these YouTubers, you know, I'm not sponsored by, I'm not even monetized. <sighs> hate, 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 hate. I have, I have just, I wanted to get a decent microphone for doing this and thought that that one, you know, was going to be okay. The one that I've looked at that's on display in Curry's is not the same as the one that's in that fucking box because it doesn't even have standard fucking headphone jack audio thing on it. So there's no way it's ever going to work. pissed off my husband's going to even be more pissed off because he's just bought that for my birthday and now I've got to say yeah despite the fact that I researched this for the best part of six months it's no good so yeah so me being zen and not getting too hot and pissed off isn't going to fucking work out so I'm just going to just have like a horrible heat wave yeah I, I mean the thing is is that the reviews for this Having her, you know, I just, I, I don't like, I don't like millennials as it is, but the ones that are hopping around on YouTube, just wankers. So we're still on the old mic setup, despite having spent a hundred pounds on that. Not me, obviously. My husband's just going to be pissed off. What a fucking joke. What a joke. I'm sure that there's some way that I can get cabling that's going to work out for it. But it's so not the point. When you read into something and it says that it works with it without you having to get loads of extra shit, you expect that that's the case, that it's not just a way of like getting you to go and buy unnecessarily unnecessary things. Anyway, things that I've sold on eBay. I did a post run on Saturday. Um, mainly because who who even knows what the hell this heat wave is really going to be, and there's a supposedly a strike with Royal Mail, and I just thought I want to get things into the system as soon as possible because I don't know. It says that they're on strike, but it just says that they're working to their contracted hours, um, which just makes them sound like they just might be on a par with you know other delivery services. Um, but the post office is open. My post office, although he moans about the post office being own, owned by a German corporate shills, <laughs> um, they're still open. So things have sold. Not many today because everybody's enjoying the weather. I had I had seven on Saturday though, I, for just for Friday night. So manta ray jeans. These are a cropped jean, so that's what you would expect to be selling. I've sold them for 20. Um, this was an auction which hasn't really gone anywhere. You know, which is another one of my big moans because, you know, the larger people, so this is size 28, and this has gone round and round on auction and not got any bids. So I've accepted an offer of uh, six pounds in the end. So it's an off-the-shoulder top by New Look Curve, which do the bigger size. But it's, I mean, I've heard people say this before, you know, people who are plus size moan that there's not much on eBay. But then, number one, they don't sell their secondhand stuff on eBay. And then they don't go looking on eBay for stuff that is for sale. So only £6 for that. Bit of a fail. 
this is a total fail this is but this is yeah, I know I know I picked I know I paid 4 99 for this from Oxfam which is why I don't like going in Oxfam Oxfam can go and suck cock um, so I bought that for 4 99 and then when I got it home realized it was absolutely ditched in stains so I've been wearing this most well I've been wearing it on and off in the winter until I just you know came up you know I was honest with myself it doesn't really fit me it's too small but because I've been wearing and washing it I have finally managed to get all the stains there are so I was annoyed you see that I paid 4 99 and it actually had like it had brown stains all over that cuff bit but this has gone for 99p because I just put it on auction when I was looking at the amount of stuff that was falling out of my wardrobe and I was just like oh why am I putting myself through this get it gone um, I know I shouldn't be like auctioning jumpers so for the fact that it's gone for 99p at this time of year but at least it's gone sold this for 9.99 that's the maiden bid auction price um, this is Desigual. Um yeah it's got I was a bit paranoid about it because it's got these gems on it and they look like they're about to like fly off so I don't really want that sat around for too long a Lego set that's gone for £10. Really basic Lego set. Just a buggy. Which is that. And then this has gone on auction. Again, this is probably a bit winter wear, but I don't know. I'm, I'm facing up to my stain pile. So this is the stain I have washed and washed. And you can see, because of the amount of washing that I've done, it's like, whitened it a bit on the edge but this is like a rust stain rust stains are the worst they believe it or not this is this is an improvement on what we had so this is made in italy it's just a very like slouchy sort of it's well it is a jumper but it sort of could be worn as a dress this but you see i know that made in italy people like it had 20 watches at the end um, it only went for 10.50 um, but they don't put the size up there it looks a bit ropey when you look at it and you just think how can this be designer I have another made in Italy thing um, which is linen so I am going to prioritise putting that on I can't even find the care label yeah this is the other thing they always have these like crusty care labels on it and, and this one the fabric content had been like sewn into the seam so I was just like oh for fuck's sake so I just unpicked it a little bit so I could see what it what the fabric content was but it just I can't believe that people think that this is designer and good quality because it just looks like ugh, to me so I'm always very reluctant the only reason I've picked up this other thing is because it's linen and heat wave so I'm going to get that on so <sighs> You know, in light of the fact that when I listed this last week on auction, it was a pretty grim weather. And then it, it the auction finishes in a heat wave. So when I put this other linen, these linen and like summary things on now, we can guarantee that next week it's going to be absolutely horrendous weather wise. But I don't know. I'm not so fussed this year. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Um, but i i did not like last year because it literally went on forever so yeah that was my my feelings last year is that i seem to remember that it was just it was just we had 30 degrees didn't we consistently for at least a month with no rain um and it was pretty grim i'm folding up clothes by the way putting them away because I want to get to the post office now yeah so I got frustrated last year because there was just no let up with it so you know yeah I didn't really sleep very well last night we had the fan on all night because my husband had to go he's not looking forward to work today because well he went early to sort of like do as much as he could before it got hot so he's you know high intensity work <laughs> so I can't really complain I have got plans the number one plan is 
pit stains. I'm going to do my pit stain removal because um, the theory is if you put lemon juice on the pit stained items and then you put them out in the sunlight all day. So I live in Manchester. It's never, even when they say it's going to be sunlight all day, it's usually a load of bollocks and it usually rains or it's cloudy. It's like yesterday was really cloudy, even though it was bloody warm. We didn't have sunshine so much. It was overcast all day. So I'm going to try this thing and I'm going to show you on camera how we do. But first, let's get this post done. Right, lemons are squeezed. Do not recommend these lemons. South Africa, I don't even know why we've got stuff from South Africa. Organic lemons are probably better, they're juicier. These don't seem to have produced much juice at all. So this is the, um, the special millennial version of a lemon squeezer with no sharp points or ability to actually squeeze a lemon. So I reverted back to my old one, which has got sharp edges on which will actually squeeze a lemon, but you know, the millennials must use this version because if the lemon squeezes too heavily, it may go in the eye area. And you know, that is a problem for a millennial because then I've got to put a claim in and it's time consuming. So yeah, not much lemon juice. I mean, admittedly, I mean, I've got one, I've, I've got some more in the fridge, but I'd rather put them in my Coca-Cola to be honest. There are many different ways of removing pit stains and I have tried this. So I've tried the white vinegar, I've tried the baking soda, I've tried... Now I haven't so much tried the salt. Um, you've got to scrub it in and I, I don't know, I, I'm tempted to do a multitude of these but let's not because it, they haven't worked previously. So it says here, I feel like I'm a bit shaky. Um, lemons. Mix equal parts of lemon juice with water. I'm not going to water it down too much. Scrub the stain. Once I've finished, leave the clothing in direct sunlight. Then the lemon's natural bleaching properties will take effect on the clothes. So that's the theory. So we are having, we have got lots of nice sunlight. So you've got to leave it out all day. That's what I've read. I've read multiple ones of these because there's, there's lots of different versions of it. So this is what we're doing. Let's have a look. Uh, now you see, the mic that I have been using is now all tangled up because I thought, oh, I don't need it. I have a new microphone. So I don't know if you can even see this. You must be able to see that. So that is a bad stain. Um, obviously two of each. This has got pit stains. This is an All Saints and some of them do sell for decent money. So we're going to try this one. Uh, this is sea salt, so I'm sure you can see that. Pit stain. This one is very black. This one on this one here. What's this? This is Reese. So that's quite bad. And for some reason this Dolce & Gabbana was sitting in my pile. But I can't see that there's anything all that much there. So it must, I must just be paranoid. <laughs> there must be something in, in it. Um, and then I think I'm going to try this trick with this thing. So this is Orvis and it's, you know, menswear Orvis does quite well. But there's a weird pink blotch here. I, it, it's not as bad as it was. And, you know, every time you look at it, it doesn't look so bad. But I promise you, it's, it, it is really bad. Once you know it's there, it's there. Once you can see it, it it's the only thing that you can see. So I'm going to try it on that and see what it does. So let's, uh, I've got, yeah, <laughs> let's just spray it and see what happens. I'm going to put a very small amount of water in with the lemon juice. So everything is now saturated, scrubbed. I scrubbed it 
with some of the lemon peel. <laughs> so now I've literally got lemon piss on my era. So let's see what this does. I am going to leave this out here all day. Um, I don't think I'm going to attempt it again. Cause it just feels like a waste of lemons, to be honest. There's much, there's so many cocktails and dishes that involve lemons. This feels like a waste. And to be honest, I wouldn't buy this stuff if these charity shops didn't have lighting systems that predate Edison. Okay, so this is the new mic setup. I have, I was looking for all the things and then I was like, oh, is there anything actually in my Android box? So yeah, I'm on the S8. No, I'm that old. Yeah. Um, so it has, it's got various little adapters in here and one of the adapters supposedly works with this and it says the mic is on. We've got a red light and I've put the lavalier on although I'm not sure if that's working let's see hello is this working is it not don't know but obviously this is working you yes so um the, the weather today is hot stay indoors or you will fry So, are you noticing any difference with the sound? If you're not, a good way to waste a hundred pounds. Yay! Right, I need to do some work because I haven't done. I've got stuff here waiting to be photographed. So, and I'll need to do some listing. And my husband is finished because obviously he went in early to do the Spanish uh, way of working, and now he's back. And I've done very little. It's that piss about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's um it's seven AM on Tuesday. <laughs> I literally have not slept. As I'm sure a lot of people have you can hear the sound of all my neighbours like are getting up and going to work. Um maybe they've got air conditioning. <sighs> maybe. So yeah, I my husband got up to go in at like five and I hadn't slept so I got up um yeah I just needed to do various bloody things but you see it's uh, I think it's 25 degrees now and it's 7 a.m so obviously I want to be at that post office at like just after nine o'clock and I want to drop off my post there's only two things I have a pair of shorts, naturally, because we're in the middle of a heat wave, and then this, which I did steal yesterday, it's going, no, well yeah, early doors, but they didn't pay, that's going to Peru, obviously the Lego serves in there, I was just breaking it all up, so I'm going to pack them up now, get ready, I think I'm going to sit and quietly do my accounts this morning, and do a bit of listing, um, this is the whites so not too pleased so these this is the Reese one I mean it has done something but the mark is still there the All Saints one is still ditched but I think it was pretty ditched in the first place I think I might try bicarbonate soda, soda with them, so you probably can't see. Um, the sun's coming up over here, so I don't even think that that's going to help. But you can't, you can't really see. The two that it has worked on, which is weird. So this is the sea salt one, which is organic cotton. Now this one, it has worked on. So the method has definitely brought it out in this one. There are no pit stains in that. So that's organic cotton. And then the other one, which seems to have had some success, 
is this one. Um, I mean, I don't know until it's dried because it's not pure white, but I do think that that has made a massive difference. So this is the fat face one. It is 100% cotton and it's made in India. So, you know, I would put on my listing Indian cotton. So that's probably gonna be a bit like organic cotton as well. But yeah, it's, those two, it seems to have worked on. That one's looking good, but I don't think that one was too bad anyway. So anyway, I, uh, I'm just gonna get on with what I need to do. I'm gonna try and list some things and I am gonna get these things ready for the post. I'm gonna go and drop that off early doors get some suntan lotion on because I'm stood out here without suntan lotion on and I just burn which is why I'm still pure white um, I go to Tesco but something weird's happened at Tesco because for some reason all their freezers are empty so they must have all broken or they just don't know what to do with all the profits that they're making and they can't be asked to pass it to customers <sighs> yeah this is too much for me now I'm, I'm not happy about this. I'm English. I'm English and I do not do this heat. Okay, <laughs> it's still Tuesday. I have done, <coughs> I've done loads of work, like early doors. It's now like half past one. I'm getting to a point where I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Well, back to sleep. I never really slept last night because of the heat. The computer, because I've been listed, and so I've listed everything, I now have like a clear pile. The, my computer has the audacity to tell me that apparently it's raining. I mean, the reason that the curtain is closed is because it's like that. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? What planet are they on? Uh, this is the fan, um, so it's not on because it's loud. And obviously Stephen, well not that Stephen's going to like blow into the air, you know, it's not that powerful. Yeah, so heat wave, you know, great until you can't sleep. I did go to the charity shop on the way back and I did find a Starbucks mug. So this one cost me 20p. The ones which I got last week, um, I picked up some others. And they were 50p so it just all depends where who the bloody hell you find so there are bonuses you see for going in the morning um it was really nice to be back here for like 10. tesco was useless because for some reason i went in there for bread um but they said the bakery was closed because the freezers had all broken so the freezers and the fridges were all broken but yet yeah, that means they don't have bread. I don't understand what the hell they're doing. I'm sure that when we went in the other Tesco the other day, that they had a bunch of freezers that were broken. <laughs> anyway, I have, yeah, I've not done as much as I would hope to do, but I did get a lot done this morning. Obviously I did the post really early. I listed most of the stuff which I've had sat there. Uh, faffed around with some other stuff need to get this, some bits on my spreadsheet which I purchased on Friday and yeah I was going to do my accounts and then it's not easy you know sorting receipts out with a fan on the go is it um yeah it is at that point where it's difficult to manage without a fan so as much as I'd like to get my accounts sorted I'm not sure I will because <laughs> that's what I thought I could do I thought it was a low sort of movement activity to do but you know I'm like sticking to the chair and it's horrible so anyway I'm gonna fold this up I wanted to start doing my Lego sorting as well and I haven't even done that I think the thing is is that I want to bust the hoover around and I'll bust the hoover around when it apparently gets cooler which is tomorrow, but I, I don't know. I, I don't believe it because it keeps changing the goalposts. Um, I can't even imagine how hot it actually is in here because the coolest part of the building 
is our hallway and the hallway is where our thermostat is and it says it's 32 degrees at the moment in the hallway so you know <laughs> let's wait for, to do the hoovering right so thank you for watching i'll see you again soon and i do have hauls and i do have lego sorting and i do have other stuff which i plan to do but i just can't be asked doing much at the moment as i'm sure a lot of you <laughs> are in the same boat so yes it's goodbye from uh stephen did you see that she tried to kill me yeah thanks for watching uh yeah you, you could sub and you'll see more of me um I, I might even take my shirt off like all the other um you know, young books. Stephen, don't do that. Huh. I thought it was my Iggy Pop moment. See you then. Bye.